trotting Street Outlaw up to the gates. Street Outlaw goes in. Sunday's Captain Bombshell safe return and Bereave will be the last couple. Bereave is in. Sunday's has moved forward. Now the turn off safe return to go up. Safe return goes in and Captain Bombshell will be the last to load. Captain Bombshell steps up. All in line, we set and ready to go. Signal given. They sprinting from the 1200 and tread swiftly. Dwelt as the pens opened, lost a couple, and he's tucking into the back of the field. Captain Bombshell began quickly up there with the speed. We got Rock and Ringo, who's showing plenty of toe in the middle. Between runners, we got former gear. They being followed by Bereave, who sits on the heels of the NSP. Then comes Safe Return. Countdown is being followed by Barcelona. Then comes Street Outlaw. And behind that, we got Swift, uh, Tread Swifty, who sees them all with just on 600 meters left to go. Rock and Ringo end the middle leads the way. Down the inside we got Captain Bombshell. They being followed by former gear. Then comes Bereaved. Between runners we got Countdown. Deeper out we got Mufasa. Then comes Barcelona. Sundays is being followed by Tread Swiftly. Street Outdoor and Safe Return is switching in for a run with just on 300 meters left to go. Captain Bombshell Countdown. Stakes his claim on the outside. He's running an absolute cracker. Down the inside Safe Return. Bereave has come under a ride. We're into the final 150. It's Countdown. They that has swept into the lead. Captain Bombshell now down the inside. Safe return and Bereave gets going. It's countdown. Bereave is flying. The line comes in time for countdown. Who beats Bereave into second. Safe return in third. Captain Bombshell in fourth. Here's there on replay. Countdown had moved up on the inside, or rather on the outside of Captain Bombshell. Down the inside, you can see Bereave gets given one, two cracks, and now he starts to get going, but the race is over as Countdown had already kicked away. Bereave is doing the chasing as Countdown wins the fifth. Six, one, two, three. I'll make the provisional call here of race number five. Cape Town met on the 25th of January. It was a merit rated uh, 108 handicap and over the 1200 meters went the way of number six countdown. Well done to the son of Give Me the Green Light for flying home successfully. Your Lisa uh, Ketu, he received his thousand rand from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing. So thank you very much to him. He's gone to take countdown to the back. Uh, Ashton, well done for the win. Thank you. Obviously, it's just a big thank you to Mr. Cotson for all the opportunities and the support. You won a good race today. He seemed to give them real cheek. It was a nice type of field, so he, he seemed to rattle home and, and even fight off the other horses. Yes, and I thought on his last run, he's a massive runner today. Obviously, with 52, he won a very good race today. He moved up nicely to the 400. When I squeezed him, he gave me another kick. He won a good race. Well done for the win. Thank you. Next up, uh, Glenn Cotson, the, the conditioner, is going to chat to us. And Glenn, last time you, you made a comment pre-race saying, well, at least the trainer finally listened, put him down the straight, but he's taken on a, a good field here. He did. Uh, he was slightly under suffering, so the, the race was uh, a mirror uh, I think 105, they changed it to 109. There was another race for him, so I decided to run him, but I thought that he, he really gained a lot of confidence in his last run, so I was super excited. So um, Philip Bamford said uh, Caroline will de deputise, and the last time she did that, he won, he won for some odds. So very, very, we've got Lady Luck here, and of course uh, Walter with uh, the Willy Wonka uh, colours. Uh, has, has got his mate to come and say, Saki to come and say uh, uh, a couple of words on his behalf. And of course, uh, my longest standing friend, and I'm going to say friend, he's been a, a friend from when, we, when I first started training, uh, Warren and Bridget, uh, they're my, just great people. Every year they put their head down, they buy me horses, they're just super. They're always in the background, they show jumpers, they're horsemen, they, they love it. Just well done to them. He's probably on the golf course. He probably doesn't even know the horse has won yet. But uh, I will give him a call. So uh, really, really well done. And of course, to Philip Banford, we tried to give him a winner while he was here. Um, we got pretty close. We ran second and a couple of others were placed there about. But uh, he's so excited. He said, don't talk to me now. I want to listen to all the, all the, the, the chit chat. So uh, he, he's obviously watching back in England. Well, well thank done you. to him and uh, all the owners. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to Fast Fontaine.
There you go. Thank you to Fast Fontaine. Saki's going to come across. And, oh, you come. You, are you going to come and chat to us too? Come on. We can't have these winners. Uh, well done for the win. You are Lady Luck. I, I didn't think lightning would strike twice, but here I am again. So it's <laughs> marvellous. And a huge congratulations to Glenn and his team. I think he's going to be phoning you for every race meeting to book you. Well, yeah, I'll just stay here forever. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> well done for representing. Thank you very much. Another representative, Asaki, is representing Walter with his, uh, as Glenn called them, Willy Wonka colours. You know, Walter was here two weeks ago, um, and yesterday I actually said to him, I'm at the airport waiting for you. <laughs> I don't know why he's coming next week. His horse is both running today. Firstly, well done to Glenn. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure Phil, same thing, he left uh, on Wednesday, I think. Um, well done to, to, to Phil as well. And then to Mr. Frost, Warren Frost, I believe, uh, he's in Durban. Uh, you know, it's not that far a plane flight. <laughs> but um, also well, well done to the entire Woodhill team. Uh, they gave us the confidence uh, last time he ran short head second, unlucky. But today, with Lady Luck, we can't, can't go wrong. And then, of course, I have to mention the breeders at Fast Fontaine, thank you very much. Well done. Thank yeah. you to the, the Lady Luck representatives. We'll see you, you again, you. I'm sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that's number five. Sorry, number six. Countdown. Someone give me the green light as Saki and Glenn mentioned. Fast Fontaine stud breeding this horse that seems to have found his place over the sprint trips. Well done to Ashton Aries and also your Lisa the Groom. Number six countdown was the winner.